I see a lot of data silos out there. I'm dealing with the retail right now, and then looking at their environment. They have an enterprise warehouse. I think the enterprise warehouse is really a virtual environment with many different systems. They have their inventory and merchandising in two different systems. And labor is a third. It's retail. Try to do analytics and environment off the bat, and you've got two different data sites, right? You try to actually do a joint across billions of roads in two different systems, which they were trying to do. We're great for static applications that they designed it for. I mean, this is already going to an ad hoc environment of doing, uh, looking at for um, a segmentation store, looking at store just for segmentation and mining on top of that. Mm -hmm. So now what they're doing is building little uh, system servers, mobile things all around it, pulling data out and actually increasing the ETO complexity as well as the uh, data replication. And the cost will way up to manage that. So this line right here is, uh, this is a quote from Parker, but the really issue here is coming down to is, we need access to data, we need to bring it out, we need to get it into the business, uh, the information is important, but it, it's all about the business process that we need to generate, the applications we need to build, but the infrastructure's gotta be right to support that. And our background slide here, but, but these are things that we may go in and talk to customers, things they need to think about. People think about these things when I think of data. When I build an operational system, when I build an ERP system, when I build a warehouse, I think about the security system, I think about the HA, I think about disaster recovery, I think about auditing, I think about replication, I think about data model issues, I think about how to consolidate that. When I start looking at services over that, if I have a service that's used by e-commerce, the system is used up by 24, and that's actually referencing a warehouse that has a big batch window that's been down. This is my service 7 by 24. Now, we're seeing a lot of warehouses right now, for example, that are being brought into the operational environment. They're tied right into business processes. They're tied into business processes that means they're in the operational systems now. There's a lot of characteristics now you have to worry about from the IT side of how to manage that. So I'll take you through, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of reference architecture that we use internally, that we use to help different clients and how to build this out. 